February 15th. Am I my brother's keeper? None of us liveth to himself. Romans 14, 7. Has it ever dawned on you that you are responsible for other souls spiritually before God? For instance, if I allow any private deflection from God in my life, everyone about me suffers. We sit together in heavenly places. Whether one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. When once you allow physical selfishness, mental slovenness, and moral obtuseness, spiritual density, everyone belonging to your crowd will suffer. But, you say, who is sufficient for these things, if you erect a standard like that? Our sufficiency is of God and of Him alone. Ye shall be my witnesses. How many of us are willing to spend every ounce of nervous energy, of mental, moral, and spiritual energy we have for Jesus Christ? That is the meaning of a witness in God's sense of the word. It takes time. Be patient with yourself. God has left us on the earth. What for? To be saved and sanctified? No, to be at it for Him. Am I willing to be broken bread and poured out wine for Him? To be spoilt for this age, for this life, to be spoilt from every standpoint but one. Saving as I can disciple men and women to the Lord Jesus Christ. My life as a worker is the way I say thank you to God for His unspeakable salvation. Remember, it is quite possible for any one of us to be flung out as reprobate silver, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway.